So here is assumption number one. I've got to be great at persuasion to avoid rejection. False. You gotta be great at transparency, at telling the truth in order to avoid rejection. Nothing is as persuasive as the truth. Now, I don't know if you believe that or not, but it's true, whether you believe it or not. And so persuasion is not the thing. It's being truthful, because people, they, they can like smell a lie. Don't you agree? Next, number two assumption is, I've got to talk to lots of leads, which I hate that word, so I can convert sales. Well, they're not leads, my friend. They are candidates. They are candidates so that you can persuade and influence them to say yes or to get in the position to buy. People hate to be sold, but they love to buy. One of my good friends and, and mentors, I consider him a mentor, Jeffrey Gittimer says that. People hate to be sold, but they love to buy. Isn't that true? So that's worth writing down. So bottom line is, if you think you need to talk to a lot of leads, you're wrong. You need to talk to pre-qualified candidates to convert sales. Now conversion is about taking a block of ice and converting it and melting it to ice water and then heating it up to warm water, then heating that up to hot water, and then ultimately turning it into steam. Does that make sense? Those are five steps of conversion. I've got to make a lot of cold calls and face rejection, okay? That's what a lot of people think. Now, that's wrong. And Ross, as you're watching right now, thank you for joining us. You can give me a few, you know, you know plugs of the love signal. <laughs> Thank you for coming in here. Now, this this is a this is a big deal. I've got to make a lot of cold calls. I don't make any cold calls. All the calls come into me. Um, in fact, people come into an application, then they schedule, then they put a deposit down, then they talk to someone prior to me for a discovery session, session and then ultimately they talk to me. So I don't make any cold calls. Well, Alex. How do you get people to come through? Well, there's Facebook Live, just like I'm doing now. There are seminars, just like I've done over the years. There are um, email interactions and referrals that you can get. I mean, of every, let's say you got 100 people to come to a page that had an application and 50 of those 100 completed the application. And out of the 50 who completed the application, 25 said yes to putting down $150 for a deposit. And of the hundred uh, of the 50% that said yes to that, you know, 25 total, there's about 20 that showed up to a discovery session. Of the, of the 20 that showed up to the discovery session, 10 said yes to a $10,000 offer. That's $100,000. Do those numbers weigh in? Yes, they do. Do they work? Yes. Sandra, do they work? Absolutely. Yeah, they do. In fact, right now, we don't have 50%, we have 100% conversion this month. Is that true? Yes. 100% conversion, okay? I'm not expecting that from you, but it is possible. Next, I've got to ask for the sale during the first meeting or I will lose it. Okay, I'm gonna be very direct and I hope my mom is not watching. Bull shit. <laughs> I love saying that. <laughs> I could say worse. Why? Why is that just BS? Because you don't have to make the sale on the first conversation. You can set it up so that you go to the next conversation. In fact, if you get the sale on the first conversation, many times it doesn't stick. Now, many sales trainers will go, oh, Alex, you're so naive. You don't know what you're doing. Okay, great. I hope you and I compete. WTF, which stands for you know what? You know, the bottom line is you are not ascending this mountain of prosperity. It's a hill. And you go from one hill to the next to the next, and all of a sudden it becomes like Mount Everest. You know, it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. 
And it's you're not going to get the the sale on the first conversation. Now, many many times you will, but sometimes you don't, and you have to hand it to somebody else. So we have a setter who sets the enrollment, and then you have a spiker who spikes the enrollment. Here's the key point. Under $10,000, okay, if you have an offer that's under $10,000, you can do it in one discovery session. That's what DS stands for. But if you have something over 10,000, I believe it takes more than one meeting, sometimes two. The highest sale we've generated is $240,000. It took six meetings. Is it worth it? Honestly, is it worth it? It's $40,000 a meeting. 